So you're looking for more information on the rental market here in New York City. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the New York City rental market and some of the things I see happening right now. So let's go. My name is Drew Sheftel. I'm the founder of Urban Real Estate. I have over 25 years of New York City brokerage experience. I'm here to help you understand and guide you through the New York City rental market. On this channel, we do videos. I can interview some people in the industry, other entrepreneurs, other small business owners, people like that, as well as share tips, information, and strategies similar to videos like this. So if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Well, let's get to it. So here at Urban Real Estate, we get a lot of questions. And one of the questions I'm getting most right now is will there be a crash in New York City? And I'm gonna give you some of the signs I'm seeing. And when you stay till the end, you're gonna hear my professional thoughts on what's happening right now. Now, as you know, New York's pause order was mirrored in New York City's rental market about two months ago. And the number of New Yorkers signing new leases plummeted in April a stunning 71%. That is the lowest number of recorded leases since April of 2009. Now it's important to keep in mind, new leases typically represent only about a third of the city's market. It's the renewal leases that make up the rest of the market. So what we're seeing publicly is not representative of a normal market. The true story of New York's rental market is actually being dealt with on the renewal side in private. Owners are trying like hell to keep their tenants by negotiating existing leases and thus keeping that vacancy rate from increasing. Uh, now what's interesting is that actually there's a low supply right now in availables, which is actually pushing the averages higher because there are open units are generally in the more expensive buildings like high rises where the lower end units like the smaller buildings generally are not hitting the market because owners don't really want people in and out of their building so much. So they're kind of holding on to those vacancies until things sort of like come out of this phase during this global pandemic. So thus there is this huge shadow inventory lurking. Okay. Now the new rental inventory is also down from last year, though new listings and new searches in New York City have been increasing every single week. So there's a lot more people now getting online and starting to search for apartments here in New York City. So with all this going on, we should expect more rental price cuts in the future. And I expect we will see some people either moving on to get better deals, bigger apartments, maybe an upgrade, others starting to maybe downsize to accommodate lower salary expectations, or some people are looking for places with more work from home amenities like outdoor spaces, uh, washer and dryers maybe in the apartment. One other nugget I thought was interesting was I was speaking to some of the moving and storage companies and they're expecting 60% less business amid um, the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, one was actually saying that they did about 100 moves per month before this and now they're only doing about 30 moves right now. So you can see how that's sort of working into this whole picture. Now if you're getting value from this channel, please hit that like button below. I really appreciate it. Okay, well now here's my opinion after having worked through 9-11 and the Great Recession. And like those, people will leave the city for a few months and then they'll start to come back as the city bounces back. There's something about the urban preference. It's really hard to make that trade-off of life in the suburbs when you're so used to an urban environment. So that being said, for renters looking to move right now, there's greater flexibility in the market that would indicate a greater willingness for those landlords to respond to these renters' needs and do some deals. So there will be deals to do in Manhattan. Mark my words. Thanks for watching this video. I'll leave you with the question of the day. What's your opinion? Will we see lower rents this summer? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, Urban Real Estate is here to help you guide you through the ins and outs of the concrete jungle. So keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Take care, everybody.